Hi. In this tutorial, we'll look at how we can uh, modify formic array state easily using formic helper methods. Hi. In this video, we'll talk about formic field array helpers. Formic provides us with a component field array through which uh, we can uh, uh, work with uh, array state pretty easily. It makes uh, uh, working with array states easy uh, with uh, field array helpers. So basically what happens is that um, if I can show you, we get a field array component. We can give it the name of whatever state you want to um, mutate and then we get some array helper. Basically we get a class where we have several different functions attached to it and through which we can you know uh, modify the array state pretty easily instead of doing that ourselves so things like um, appending uh, data to the, uh, the array state deleting data from the array state and you know moving uh, items around the array this can be done pretty easily using uh, field array helpers so these are the eight field array helpers functions that are provided to us the first three push unshift and insert are related to addition so we can use them to add a piece of uh, uh, you know item to the array state then we have two functions for uh, deleting an item from an array state and then we have three other functions for moving items around the array so first of all we have addition so push works like push in javascript so basically it would append the uh, uh, object or whatever we are passing to the end of the array. Unshift works like JavaScript Unshift as well, where it would basically put the item, whatever we are passing as a param, to the start of the array. And then insert will basically be, uh, we will pass an index and then we will pass an item. So this item would be passed in that particular position, which you know the index specifies. So let's test this out. So right now i have an input and uh, basically i have two pieces of state which you can see from here um pokemon and pokemon so this state is a string basically this this is the string state basically a text field and then we have an array state pokemon so basically what i'm doing right now is i will pa enter a name of a pokemon and then i would press enter and then basically it would send a request and you know get the data and then i am using array helpers dot push to append this particular object to the pokemon state and then here i am <coughs> displaying this values that pokemons in the form of a grid so yeah, here we go um i can show you what's happening quickly so network uh, if i you know use this let's say example and i press enter then <coughs> yeah basically on keep down um, function uh, you know uh, is called and then i basically get the pokemon and then, and then i pass this pokemon push this pokemon into the array state so that is how i get this if i type another name and i press enter you know i get that particular thing and it gets pushed so you can see that i'm using push so it is appending any recent object to the end of the state so basically it is appending it appending means putting it at the end of the array now we can also prepend it which means that i will like to you know whatever the recent item is i would like to put it in the start of the array so i can say unshift so now if i you know enter another pokemon's name You can see now it is uh, prepended that is it uh, is added to the start of the array so we just saw push and um and shift now we can also see insert so insert would basically add the item in the particular index we specify so right now we can say um insert i want it inserted in the second position so i want it inserted after this first item that is the you know first index is the second item position so i can now add another pokemon i can say
and you can say that it got inserted here so you know pretty a uh, simple thing um you can also revise it um push inserts an item at the end of the array or appends it unshift adds an item to the start of the array or prepends it and then insert adds an array at the specified position which we specify from the index so these three are done <coughs> now we have pop and remove so pop would basically um remove the item up uh, remove the item from the end of the array so just like javascript pop works um it would just like push up uh, adds an item to the end of the array pop would remove the item from the end of the array so you can test it out as well um let me copy this piece of code so yeah uh, i've got these four buttons um now let me paste it here hmm. so when i click on pop array helpers dot pop should be called so let's see so i call pop and this item should be gone because as the um, as i told um, in the uh, explanation for the pop function it should uh, remove the item from the end of the array so this is the end of the array so i click on pop and you can see that this item is gone i again click on pop and this particular item is gone as well um so that's it that is how pop works remove however basically removes the item from a particular index so let's say in this particular case i have um let me add them again yeah so in this particular case uh, i have a cross icon in each card and uh, what i would want is when i click on this uh, particular uh, button i would want the card to be removed so i can you know use the remove function which we have here to supply the index because i am mapping these pokemons and i will have the index uh, present so i can use that index to you know remove that particular card so i can say here array helpers dot remove just you know uh, showing a use case um index and i can pass the index here so now if i click on any cross icon let's say for this particular item this particular item gets removed so basically if with remove i can uh, do this sort of you know removal where you i have several items and i have a cross icon and i want to you know remove that particular item so i click on here this gets removed i click here this particular pokemon gets removed uh, so let me add them again yeah so these uh, two functions have been uh, talked about as well now swap swap is simple it would basically swap the two items uh, based on the two indexes you provide so in this case i'm saying swap first and second uh, in this particular button i in the on click i have passed zero and one as indices so what will happen is when i will click on it the zeroth and uh, zeroth index item and the first index item that is the first and second item would be swapped so i click and you can see that these two items were swapped i again click and i keep on clicking and you can see that they are basically toggling positions swapping positions between uh, each other now replace we have got replace so replace would basically take this item and then replace the item at this particular index with this new item so let me see um right now when i click on this i'm saying that replace the first index um card item that is this particular thing with whatever is present let's say uh, i say two so with whatever is present here so i'm trying to replace this with this so when i click on it you can see that now it gets replaced notice the difference with swap uh, what happened was they both they change their positions so they interchange their position so the first went to the second position second went to the first position in that particular and this particular case replace it basically copied this item and put it in that particular index we specified here as the first param so this is how replace works 
now move move would basically not do uh, replace basically copied that particular thing and also put it in the index we provided here move on the other hand would take two indices and it would say that i want to move this item specified by this index and here so basically i want to move it from here to here and uh, i am supplying indexes for it so in this particular case i'm saying move first item to third position so zeroth index and two index so what should happen is um this um these are yeah these are identical copies let me uh, uh let me add further uh, pokemon so so what this would do is it would uh, move the item in the first uh, position that is this to the second position that is this um so now if i click on it um now let me refresh it and uh, yeah so what i would want is i want uh, this particular card to move here from zero to two so i would click on it and you can see that this particular card moved here i again click on it you saw that uh, this particular uh, pokemon was present here and now it's moved here now this red one should move here so now you can see basically um a kind of you know uh, basically uh, you can see that it is moving in kind of snake position where i'm i'm moving this to the end then this moves forward this moves forward and then i'm moving this to the end and this moves forward this moves forward so move would is basically moving that particular item to that particular index um not making a copy of it and you know replacing that particular thing but moving it in a certain position so <clears throat> These are the formic field array helpers, uh, eight functions which we can use to <coughs> modify any error array state with ease. And you know, it's a, a, a very good API and you don't have to, you know, uh, use uh, complex methods like, you know, filtering based on ID and stuff like that to uh, clear up stuff uh, to modify array state in formic. So I hope you liked the tutorial. If you uh, didn't understand anything, you can comment down below if you want any further uh if you want to have any further request regarding fall make jack next days or anything you can also comment down below as always like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye